Hey guys, welcome to another Technology Guru video. Today we are in the application Adobe Photoshop CS5. I'm going to show you a brief tutorial on how to resize your image. This is a beginner tutorial, so if you do not know how to resize your image, this is the video for you. Uh, sometimes you need to uh, make your image smaller or bigger and you don't want it to get disproportionate, and this will show you how to do that. First things first, you need to have your image here and you need to have it selected. And then once you have your image into Photoshop, you go up to the image tab up here. So you go to image and you go to image size, which is right down here. You click on that and then this little box pops up. Uh, there's a few things in this you need to take this to. Uh, the first one is the one down here at the bottom, constrain proportions. You need to make sure that is selected. Uh, and if it is not, I will show you what that does as well. Make sure the little chain links are right here showing you that the height and the width will change together. So if I want this picture to be smaller, I will uh, type in 800 and uh, it's measured in pixels. So it's 800 pixels by 500 pixels high. And then once you have it changed here, uh, select OK. And as you see there, my picture got much smaller than it was and it constrained it to where it was not uh, skewed out of, uh, out of size and it's not blurry. So that's how you resize your image. And then if you go back and go to image and then image size, back here you can also make the image larger. So go up here and type in 1500 in the width and the height will automatically uh, go uh, into the height panel there because it is gonna be constrained. That's what you want it to be. Uh, and then select OK. And then as you see there, the image got a little bigger than it did there. Now, another way you can change the size of your image is you can go to a, a image adjustments. And you can also go in here and go to scale. There's a scale option here, but that right there will not help you. Uh, sometimes that makes the image look blurry, so I'm not going to show you that. And then if you do go up here and you take off the constrained proportions uh, option here, and then you type in, let's say, 850, and then you type in your own uh, dimensions here, say you type in 350, select OK, it just doesn't look right because the image is not being constrained the way it should be. So I'm going to undo that there. But that has been a tutorial on how to change the size of your image in Adobe Photoshop. If you have any questions, put them in the comment box below, and uh, I'll be more than happy to answer them. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.